Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about two different types of letters. There are some letters that are called consonants and some letters that are called vowels. Before we learn a little bit more about consonant and vowels, let's take a closer look at the word consonant. Can you clap out the sounds you hear, the syllables? Consonant. How many were there? Consonant. Consonant. Three. Now let's hear the sounds in the word vowels. Vowels. It's one clap. In your learning pack, you may have noticed that you have letters like this. There are some letters that are in red, like A, E, I, O, and U. And there are some letters that are in blue. Well, you might be wondering why are some in red and why are some in blue? It's because some are consonants and some are vowels. Because there's two types of letters. These are all of the consonants. They're in the blue. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z, or Z. There are so many consonants. If we count, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one consonants. That is a lot. Vowels, on the other hand, are A, E, I, O, U. Let's count to see how many vowels there are. One, two, three, four, five. Only five vowels. You might be wondering why are there two types of letters? How are consonant and vowels the same? And how are they different? Hmm, well, vowels are really, really, really special because, A E I O U, because they are the glue in the words. Every single word that there ever is almost has to have at least one vowel in it because they help make sure words look right and sound right. So they have a very important job. Vowels are very important. There, one, at least one of them is in every word because vowels are very special. Now, another special thing about vowels is that they can make lots of different sounds. The vowel sound that we heard in Jolly Phonics, like the ah, ah, ants on my arm, or eh, 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 inky, or ah, uh, ah, uh, up go umbrellas, those are all the short sounds that they say. Did you hear that? Ah, it's very short. Uh, short, but they can also say their name, which is a long sound. Like for the letter A, it can say a uh, k a uh, at cat, or it can make the long sound apple, apple, a apple. So those are two short sounds. Now this is the long sound. Acorn, cake, acorn, cake. The long sound says its own name. Like the letter A is called letter A. It can either say its name, A, or have the short sound, ah, ah. Let's look at E. Short sound for E, eh, eh, elephant, n, n, et, net. Those are both short. Do you hear how short that sound is? Eh, eh. The long sound says its name. Eagle, leaf. Do you hear how that's a longer sound? Let's look at I. The short sound in I. Eh, eh, igloo. P, eh, egg. Long sounds are ice cream, kite. Oh, we have ah, uh, ah, uh, octopus. Ah, ah, og. Long sounds are ocean, soap. Do you see even the way my mouth changes? Ah, ah, octopus, ocean, soap. 
and we have you a uh, uh, umbrella like the a uh, a uh, up go umbrellas sa a uh, un long we have unicorn and glue so vowels are very very special they are the glue in words almost every single word in the english language has at least one vowel in it they have a very very important job so today your challenge is to look around your house and see if you can find two things that have one short vowel and one long vowel sound like here i have a uh, uh, up, cup. Is that short or long? K, up, k, up, uh, uh, uh. I think that might be the short one. Look, it's short you. See if you can go on a scavenger hunt and find as many different things and see if you can hear the short and the long vowel sounds. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.